All right, got them uncovered. Got her all draped up there. There's a lot of dead bees all over the canvas on the inside and out, which is to be expected. Which is sad, but it's also preferable to losing a whole colony. You can see there's some dead ones up here too. Um, there's some activity for the hive here, but they're all pretty cold. Um, it's hard to tell right now if there's any poisoning, although it, uh, you know, being lethargic and like uh, crawlers, that's that'll be an indication. But a lot of dead ones appear too. Looks like a larva there that they pulled out. A lot of these are probably dead bees that died in the hive that they pulled out. I don't know if I see any. It looks like there's a tongue hanging out. Yeah, there is. There's a bunch of them actually. You see the tongues hanging out there. And that's most likely uh, insecticide poisoning. I don't think all of them are like that though. I don't know. I'll review this video later. Yeah, see the ones with their tongues hanging out? That's pretty typical of, of insecticide poisoning. So apparently these are ones that made it back to the hive after somehow getting back inside the hive. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't kill the entire hive. These don't look like they have their tongues hanging out. Look, all of these are these might still be alive, they're just cold. Some of them anyways. So quick peek. New hive. They're looking good. Okay. These guys are looking good. There's some dead ones though. A lot of dead ones. So they'll get the hive cleaned up here in a couple days. And one of them come out to greet me. So they're not all dead. Okay, there. Well, that's the reality of living in the middle of orchards. There's cherry orchard there, apple orchard there, and even way over there across the street, there's another orchard. I'm completely surrounded, just miles of orchards on each side. And so there used to be orchard right up there at the end of the property, but they recently just taken that out. So the problem is is I have two choices when, if they let me know they're spraying. Uh, the best option is A, to move the hives um, to a completely different area. That's the best hope. Or B, cover the hives like I did here, which is not the best option, but it's the only option I had at the time. So it's sad, but that's, again, that's the reality of keeping bees in, in places like this. Until we learn to deal with this, and then cooperation with the orchardists. Um, in fact, I had one orchardist, um, 
he does not like to spray in the mornings or, or late at night in the evenings like right now is a good time to spray because all the bees are back in the in the hives but um, you know re-entry time on some of these pesticides is quite long so it can be you know uh, a week or more so these pesticides are fairly persistent and they will affect the bees for quite some time and so I can't keep the bees locked up for weeks at a time, especially in this time of year. Um, so I rely on them to let me know with enough uh, forewarning so that I can protect the bees. But unfortunately, even when I do protect the bees, this is kind of what happens. You know, it's the reality of it, like I said. And that's the best I can do right now. Until we can figure out some way to you know raise awareness and and cooperate you know the the orchardists need bees to pollinate their crops they they ship in bees to get that job done but um, typically within hours of removing those pollinator bees they're in pr spraying pesticides again now they're not spraying pesticides every day but it's still a few times during the season and if even if there isn't a uh, a lethal exposure to the entire colony every time that's that sublethal exposure that's a concern as well so these pesticides will continue to build up and you know at some point it, it's just not sustainable the colony just can't survive that so at some point there has to we're gonna have to do something different um, because of course they need the bees to pollinate their crops, but then they use pesticide that kills all the bees. And being a beekeeper, that means that I have bees that I take care of, but there's also the wild bees, the feral bees that nobody's taken care of. And so when they go through and they spray everything, that's killing all the wild bees as well, and nobody's taking care of them. So it's a real it's a real problem you know we have to try and take care of the bees they want the bees but they only want the bees when they want the bees well unfortunately that may not be sustainable so unfortunately that's what we got so uh we can hope for the best thanks for watching